So in this lecture, let's create a portal and let's make use of portal. And we all know that portals are used to add elements to an element other than this root element. So that means we also have to add another root elements to our website along with this root element. So a better place to add this would be a file which already contains that root element. And that file is nothing but the index.html file. And as you can see, we already have this div with an ID root. So let's create another div here. So I'll say div and creating a div isn't different. It's very simple. We say div and assign it some ID. So as we are going to create a model, let's name this div as model. So the ID of that div is model. And if you take a look at this code right now, as you can see, now we have two elements. One is the root and one is the model. So now our job is to go ahead and create a component and add that component to the model instead of adding that components to the root. So let's take a look at how exactly that can be done using portals. So right now I'll create a new component and I'll name this component as model.js. And here let's create a component. So I would say export default function that's going to be model. So there's nothing different until now. However, now when we return a div here, instead of returning a div, I have to return a portal here. And in order to return a portal, first of all, I have to create that portal. And in order to create that, first of all, let's import create portal. So I would say import create portal and make sure that you enclose create portal inside curly brackets. So I would say import create portal from and this create portal has to be imported from a react Dom and not react. So make sure that you remember this. So once we have imported create portal, now we have to create the actual portal using that. So here I would say create portal. And inside create portal, now you could pass in the regular div which you would have. So here, just like a regular component, I would create a div. And here I would say model. So let's say for now, this div only has a model as some text here. And now once you make use of this create portal, the first thing which you need to pass in is the component itself and then give a comma. And then you need to pass in where exactly do you want to go ahead and create this particular portal or basically add this particular portal. So if you take a look at the index or if you take a look at the index.js so let's take a look at that as you can see here we have rendered and we have assigned that we have to render this app component inside this specific root element and hence in a similar fashion we have to do something over here as well so here we need to say that we want to render this onto the model which we have created which is the div with the id model so if you take a look at this we want to render it over here. So in order to render it over here, we need to get access to that. So here I would say document dot get element by ID. And we want to get the element whose ID is model. So now once this model is created, and once it's added using create portal, we have to add this particular model inside the app.js. So let's go up over here. And just as we would add any other element, I would add a model here. Now let's also make sure that we import model. So I'll quickly go ahead and add the code for importing model here. And once we have imported model, you might think that now as this model is nested inside the app component, it actually becomes the part of the root div. However, that's not the case. If we go back here and hit refresh, if we inspect this, if we take a look at this root, it actually has this app component, but there's nothing in there. However, if you take a look at this model, as you can see, this model now becomes a part of the div with an ID model. And this was only possible because we have made use of create portal here. So what this create portal allows us to do is that it allows us to go ahead and render this particular model component inside our own specified div. So that's how portals can be used to add elements to any div other than the root div. So this was the basics of how to use portals in React. And in the next lecture, let's actually create an actual model from the portal. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.